Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Youth Sports International, I'd like to introduce one of the finest tournament directors in all of America, Mr. Ken Schumann. We're here to do our Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. And hi once again, everyone watching on the Action Report. And welcome to the final match of the 2011 U.S. Open, the One Pocket Championship, live from the Whittier Hotel here in Las Vegas. We did start with 64 players. We have two left. This is going to be one single race to five games to decide the championship. First place is $8,000, second place is $4,400. Also at this time, I would like to say thank you very much on behalf of CSI for the sponsors that have made this event possible. Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis Cloth, Adam's Billiard Balls, Mueller Products, McDermott Hughes, the Delta 13 Latin and the Riviera Hotel. We thank you all for your support. Okay. Ready to go to introduce our first player too. He resides in Chicago, Illinois. He's playing in his very first U.S. Open in the One Pocket Championship. And those of you that have watched him play so far over the past four days uh, will probably share with you the fact that he has some great knowledge in the game and great skill to go with it. We've enjoyed watching you play. Dr. Chris Gentile. by San Miguel Beer, Puyat Sports, and Jack Justice Cases, the most famous name in the game, Efren Reyes. Testing. Okay, Testing. are we on the air yes. yet? Huh? Yes, you're, you're yep. Okay, let's let's get up to date here. Okay. Um, Chris Gentile played Efren Reyes in in the uh, in, in a match that was uh, in a winner's side match, but when there was only two undefeated players left in the tournament, and Reyes defeated him in that match. Right. By the way, this, very quickly, I'll, 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 my name is Bill and Cardona. Along with me is Scott Frost and Corey Dole. These two, match, these two players matched up earlier in the tournament, and I suspect and expect a different Chris Gentile. Because in the, match they, in the first match they played, Chris was a little nervous. He really was out of his game. He didn't play well, and Reyes beat him um, four games to two. Right. But I suspect, uh, you know, a little different outcome, a little closer match. What do you guys think? Yeah, that was a fortunate break there to get behind the six ball. Well, to, to get to what you think, I, I think he's he's definitely comfortable and he's going to come out swinging. I think he's got a chance in this match. Everybody underrates Chris, and I think he's a top player. I know that he's going to be more comfortable than he was last time, and he feels like he's got a free shot in, in, in a lot of ways, I would suggest. I mean... I would feel like I've got a free shot. He won his last match against Alex Hill Hill. I heard he played good. He's got nothing to lose here. Yeah. The only person that has something to lose here, in my opinion, is Efren. I mean, uh, he's the favorite uh, on paper. So let's see what happens. Yeah, but, you know, Efren's been in this situation so many times, and, he, and he's done well so many times. So, therefore, you know, even though you feel that Efren's the only one that has something to lose, I don't think it's going to affect his play. I understand that. I understand. I'm that was a hell of a shot there. Corey, I asked you not to walk all over us when we were doing the commentary. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you can expect it a couple times. Yeah, that was a good shot. Let's get let's get to the game now, okay? Yeah. All right, the cue ball is sandwich in between the six and the two ball. Uh, I believe. He, uh, let's take a look. Let's get the, get get a camera in there back is, of baby. Reyes now, okay? Now I I want to look from the back of Reyes, so we can see what he can see. That's it, right that, there. No. No, that's not it. That's not it. 
He has to get in back of Reyes with the camera so we can see. That's it. This is what I want to see. That's the shot right there. Let's take a look at this angle from here, from 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 where from where what Reyes is at the at the table looking at it. Okay. Let's zoom in on it and see what he can see. And then what that way? There, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. Okay. He cannot see the left side of the eight, and that's the side of the eight that he needs to see in order to do something, you know, effective. So it looks like he's opting to take a scratch here. He hit the two. Okay, he didn't take a scratch. He was a legal I shot. I don't think that shot's any good. He's going to stick him right here and remove the six. You know, well, you know, I agree and disagree with what you said. I understand. I think the shot is good from, in the, in the sense that where was he before? You know, where was he before Reyes shot? Where kinda, is he I now? I kind of thought he might have massayed out of that. Sometimes everyone right. likes to massay out of that. Where is he now? Well, may, he may be in a little better spot now. Maybe he can kick right. across the table. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, see, now he can kick across table toward the green six. Right. See, I, that, I, so I like kicking two rails so, under the six, yeah. Yeah, well, he's going to kick one rail into the six. Say, like this here. So, therefore, he's in a much better situation now than he wow. was the last time. He was Absolutely. The and he tied that's, the six. That's why. See, like in chess, where if you don't know what to do, you move a pawn. So, that's what he did. He played a simple safety, which allowed... Gentile back at the table to shoot, to shoot his shot, which then allowed Reyes back at the table to shoot possibly a shot like that. So that's that's how he benefited from what he did. It's unbelievable how much we can learn from from an old know, guy being here with Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, what do you think I play so good? I've spent several hours in the booth with him, and it's amazing. Of the course, shots and the yes. strategies. <laughs> they should have in Car in Cardone shots, strategies, and moves. Exactly. Shots, moves, and strategies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Feel free to say anything. Usually you have to pay for those by losing some money to Mr. Billy. <laughs> well, no, not, that's, that's not true. Let's just take a look. Let's take a look at what Efren's confronted with here. You know, Corey's got a great imagination. I'd like to hear what he has to say a lot of, uh, on a lot of these shots. And this guy is one of the best, but I think that's a pretty loose shot. Can he make the six? Maybe? No, if he could make the six, he would have done that. He can maybe make the six, but I don't think he can't. I don't think he can get position on anything, really. Yeah, he can make the six with a trick shot. He can go real first, 13, and then mean, six. trick shot? It looks from right there that he could hit the ball going in. You think he can? I, right, don't think he can? I don't think he can. It looks like he might be able to. Well, if he can, he'll steal the ball. Well, of I course. Mean, first of all, and he, he might be able to slide down and no, you can't get him. But if, if there's any chance of missing it, I say you don't shoot it. If he can, if he can make the six, he'll steal the ball. If he can't see the six, obviously then he can't make it. So if he can't see the six, what do you do? Well, okay, now we're back at the. In, right. You know, in, what do you do? I think you got to hit the 10 some kind of way. Maybe thin the 10 and try and go under the under the 2 again. Just leave the 10 frozen on the bottom rail. Can I'll tell you what he can do. He can bank the red 3, sending that, the 3 I down here, that. sending the cue ball up to the, up to the upper left-hand corner. But when you actually look at the table itself, it looks tougher than that. For some reason on TV, it looks okay. We're looking at a screen. The screen we've got looks a little easier. But looking at the table itself, it looks pretty tight, that shot. Right. If he can miss the kiss, he could bank to three to the short rail in front of his pocket, setting the cue ball to the uh, to the top rail, U using the seven. Okay. The, okay. If he can hit the six, he'll steal the ball. Thinks he can make the ball. Yeah. He'll steal the ball. He missed okay. No. Well, okay, that's, There's a chance he shot. Well, he shot and hit the rail before the six and wasn't able to put the six down, and it's going to cost him most likely this first game. I'm not saying the Rays is going to run out, but he's probably going to get enough balls. Right. You know, to be a big favorite and control the game. Right. So it's not really a, a good way for Gentile to start off. I watched Reyes practicing a short while ago. Yeah. And I think the key to this run is probably going to be getting on the uh, getting on the five to bump to fifteen. Right. That's the eleven. 
uh, up to 15. Later, later, the 5. After this, he needs okay. to get up on the 5. Well, he's going to shoot the 11 to get onto the 5. Well, anyway, as you were saying, Billy, he was yeah. practicing earlier. He was hitting them real good, wasn't he? I was watching it, too. Yeah, he was really, really hitting them well. You know, uh, which has certainly indicated to me that he was totally prepared to play this match. Not to say that he wasn't playing well prior to prior right. to practicing, because he played well in his last match right. against Gentile. But the guy who impressed me quite a bit in this tournament was the guy sitting to your right, Corey Duell. It looked like he had Reyes on the ropes and he let him out. Let yeah, him, that's, that's what know. Corey was telling me. Yeah. He could be out there playing in the finals of the U.S. Open just as easily. Well, Reyes is one of those type players that he seems to get out <laughs> get out of these situations a little bit. Okay. I've seen him do it before. Just happened to be on the other end of it this time. And the guy in the center of us, Scott Frost, I heard something he could about very Alex easily be something. in the finals of the U.S. Open one pocket championship as well. But, uh, but, but, but a few shots here and there was a difference with him as well. Yeah. So if you two guys can pick up a, shoot, a few shots here and there, quite possibly you could be in the finals of the U.S. Open. Yeah, we both could have. Yeah. That would have been neat. <laughs> oh, boy. It. This is going to be a treat. <laughs> Didn't know we'd get this much. Uh, I could be in the finals of the U.S. One Pocket you know, uh, Championship. Well, I expected him to get more than four there. If I, <laughs> so if I, I could pick I up a... <laughs> Chris is fortunate. I understand he got the wrong angle on that five. Yeah, he did. You if he were... got above the five, he could have got all the balls. Right. That's a thin hit. That's a he, thin, yeah, nice really, hit. He That's needs a, a thin, thin hit. nice hit. That's a real nice hit. Right. I still really like the style of Chris's play. I think he's smooth. He's slick. He shoots good. He banks good. I really like his style. I've always said that. You know, like I mentioned before, uh, uh, before the last match Chris played with Reyes, I said that Chris is probably one of the smartest one-pocket players in the world. From you here, know. I like just kicking this six up by the four. Right? Yeah. Uh, he wanted to freeze it on the four, right? Well, he's not playing with it with the telestrator. He's playing with the cue stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to freeze it on the floor. <laughs> you don't kick as good as you do. You know, that was really impressive though, when I was watching you kick in your match against Reyes. I mean, it seemed like you had perfect control of your kicks. How were you feeling? Look at this shot. Wow. He does bank good. How were you feeling when you were kicking those balls against Reyes? I mean, you must have really felt in control when you were kicking all those shots. I kicked them okay, I guess. I don't know. I'd... I've always kick decent I guess I don't know. you kick better than decent you well know. I learned kicking I learned kicking from watching Efren play you know well you may have learned that that's the correct way of playing is kicking is developing the skill to kick and how did you do that how did you develop that skill to kick like the way you do I mean you really kick well you remember when I was 15 in Philadelphia and you gave me a, a kick safe lesson I did. Yeah. That's, that when you get old, your memory that's fails what, you. That's what. That's where. Is I that what you were getting at, Billy? Is you you you're getting at that? Huh? No, he no. He did give me a lesson no, when no. I was fifteen. He, he knew that. He was uh, getting yeah, that. That no, was pretty slick yeah, too. In the meantime, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so back to the game. Back to the game. Efren made made uh, Chris's seven ball and, and drove the cue ball into the stack. Looks like Efren's just going to tie the 13 on the four ball. No rail. No rail. Score is three to one now. Yeah, but that but that's very uh, observant of you. You know, you realize that he was he was he was going to try to try to tie those balls up on the side rail. Yeah. And uh, when you're at the table, if you tie balls up on your opponent's side of the table, you are being productive because. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a good offensive shot or, you know, you don't have anything to shoot at towards your pocket or if you don't have a move, it would serve you best if you would tie balls up on the opponent's side, on your opponent's side of the table. And if you do that, then you're productive at the table. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd have commentated for my match. No, I'm not Is sure it, about that. What, what has Chris got to do here? Does he got to go or no? 
Well, you know, you, it, it's not a bad idea to go back into three ball, and I'm going to tell you why. If you back to three ball and reposition the cue ball down at the other end of the table, the, uh, Efren, Efren uh, can possibly get maybe one ball. But if you happen to pocket the three ball, you may end up getting two, three, or even four balls. So therefore, percentages say that you can get more balls than Efren if you bank to three. So why not? Efren can only get one ball. I agree, 100%. Well, I think that was a little too tight of a play there. But the, the balls do favor Gentile. For now. Yeah. All he needs to do is get rid of that stripe on the different side of the table, and I, and I think that he'll be uh, even more of a threat. Efren has to has to uh, protect that stripe ball on his side of the table. If he allows Gentile back at the table to move that stripe ball, then Gentile will become a, a legitimate threat. Well, he's, uh, he's left him a sh little bit of a shot here. Maybe not. Now he tied the 15 and the 9 up. Can he see the 3? I don't think so. Efren's going to do the same thing he did last time, but he's going to, sooner or later, Chris is going to bank at that 3, isn't he? You know, I would think that uh, at some point, Chris is going to have a good enough shot on that 3 ball bank right. to to go ahead and go for it because right. if you notice the position of the 13 6 in one they all go in okay. Gentile's pocket well it's all going to change now okay now everything has changed and uh, you know shooting that three ball bank no, no longer is in favor of Gentile so it looks like it's going to be an up table game guys at least to me because Chris is going to probably shoot off either the 8 or the 13 I like shooting off the 8 or the 13 and I do too you know because now, 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 uh, Reyes is going to put Chris up table, shooting off the uh, the 13 in the center of the table. It looks like the closest balls to your pocket normally you want to move. You like this? I don't like this. I don't understand why he's doing that. I like him shooting off that stripe. That's yeah, you know, and um, forcing off, forcing uh, Chris the to make a good Yeah, I like him shooting off the, the 13, 13 ball. Yeah. Okay. Pot, well, what about one round the kick in the three? I don't like that shot too much. I, I actually like the hitting the eight and getting just go ahead and get the balls up table. He's leading the game. You know, just go ahead and get them all up table. Because if he leaves, if he hits the 13 and leaves some sort of cross bank, there's a few. Well, he's got a bank on the nine here. Has he even looked at it? He doesn't even look at it. Nothing goes in that from his pocket. Boy. You That's know, a, last match when I saw him play Efren, last match he played Efren, he overlooked a few shots. He was strictly, uh, and you made the comment that he was like zoned in to just uh, doing a certain amount of things. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of time to talk about one another now since all the balls were up table. <laughs> we can talk about how good we all play, or we can talk about I how poorly it. you played at a certain point in, the, in, a, in a certain game. You know, we can do all those things now. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about what Scott's strategy is here with the last, with all the balls up table. What are you looking to do? Where do you, where do you, where would you like to when put them? When I'm down three nothing and the balls are up table, I'm looking for a shot at my pocket. Okay, now if you're yeah. Efren, what if you're Efren? What are you looking to do? Keep me from a shot in my pocket. <laughs> you know, I, I believe when the balls are up table. Let me ask you this question, Billy. Let's say my pocket is a lower left hand corner. Efren's is the lower right-hand corner. Do I want the balls, if they're up top, on the left or the right side of the table? You want to form a wedge on either the left side of the table or the right Which side of the table? Which one favors more? I think that if, you're, if you have the right-hand corner pocket, you want to form the wedge on the left-hand side of the table. And I believe by doing that, you keep, you keep all the channels open for your straight-back banks. Okay? And you also, um, uh, excuse me. Wait a minute. Now you're saying that you, you, if my pocket's the lower left hand, you would like, you would like to wedge them all up if it was your pocket on, 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 on the, the right side. On the right side. Right. Really? Yeah. Well, then I've been playing it backwards. Well, well not necessarily, but I could be wrong. Well, what do you like, Corey? Well, I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of like all the balls on my opponent's side. Okay. 
I, I like I them know. on my side because I can three rail the balls and I can I can and one when rail we play, and, that's and where hide you them. Put them. What do you that's mean three, you put three, them three and you rail the balls? So that's what it is. If you have a wedge on, on this is if your pocket is genteel that's pocket, awesome. okay, and you're genteel, you want to form a wedge on the on the on the. Uh, Top side of the table on the left hand side. That's on what a I, wedge. What do you mean a wedge? Well, a wedge means a, a wedge of balls. If right this there. is my pocket, I'm right. going to form a wedge up there. Okay. Wow. Then how can you shoot a three railer then? Because if a ball leaks out or something like that, then you can three rail and stick. Like if there's a ball. You can't three rail because the, the wedge precludes you. How many times have I done it? What do you mean by Corey? a wedge? A wedge is a. This I'm is not a, talking about a wedge. I'm just talking like this over here on the top right side. Just balls loose over on your side of the table. Which side would you want those on? You know, obviously, you want them on your opponent's side of the table. Anyway, you're confusing me. Let, let's get back to this match because you've, yeah, you have asked a, a question that uh, there are too, too, too many uncertainties. Corey's not confused. I am confused. What's the, what's the wedge? <laughs> what's the wedge? He wants to know what the wedge is, Bill. This is a wedge, okay? A wedge. <laughs> the Nick Varner wedge. This is Nick your Varner pocket wedge. right here. This is Scott's pocket, okay? A wedge is when you have balls like this here, okay, like that. So. Oh, all cluttered up in the corner. Right, that's a wedge. That's, a okay. wedge. Okay. that's why I say just cluttered up. Right, okay. <laughs> Something like a salad. We want to sound more professional than we use oh, the word cluttered, cluttered up. up. Okay. I like cluttered up. When you have balls cluttered up, okay, on this, <laughs> would you rather have them cluttered up on this side of the table or this side of the table? Uh, see, Scott likes them on his pocket. side. I like them on Scott's side. I don't know. If, it's if, a little uh, different if, style. But I'm more of an aggressive If this is my player. pocket, I want the wedge over here. Okay, yeah. well, Chris has got a uh, spot shot here. What does he do? Does he just bank it up table? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he does. My friend's in a spotty. He's got to make sure he doesn't leave a bank on that two, huh? You like just moving the two away? Is that Efren's pocket right there? I would Where the two why, is. why would I move it away if it's my pocket? No, of course not. I would shoot the six. I go off the six and put them behind the balls. Yeah, I would try to shoot the six and maybe put them behind the balls. But I, you know, you might leave them straight back on the six that way. Put them behind the nine three. Oh no, put them behind the seven. Yeah. And that's what he's doing here. But he may be leaving back a straight back on the six. He's got to be careful. Well, yeah, you are pretty smart. He, he almost leave, did it. Well, you know, he may leave him back. He may leave him a, a bank on another ball too. Okay, you see how uh, I'm not even going to go there right now, but I well, want to well, make a well, point. Okay. I'll, I'll make it later in the game just to, to make a point. He may come off the six again. If he comes off the 15. What's wrong with coming off the nine and putting him under the 13 or 15 up here? Of where? Yeah, I like coming that. Coming off the nine. Coming off the there. nine under the 13. Well, he may end up giving him a free shot in the six. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come sweet. on. Come on. Oh, please, stop it. <laughs> That's a Corey Dool shot. That's a great shot right there. Wow. Can okay. you hit this 14 with enough inside to get 14 up? 14 doesn't under? look froze. Can we get a shot on the 14 ball? It isn't froze. Coming down the rail. Coming down the rail, the 14 by the one ball. The I don't ball. think he can hit it with enough if inside. If it's not frozen, it's a tough shot. If can he can get, get to the bottom rail, he could bump the it's two. It's not frozen. There it is. There's the shot. Okay, he trails three to nothing. He's in a trap. It's a tough shot here. He's got no choice. Oh, he ginned it. Wow, he did gin it. Very, very nice it looks shot. Looks like he went rail first the way the keyboard reacted. Yeah, it was weird. Right? I would have thought it would have got down a little lower. Right. It was like he rolled it. I'll tell you, Ray has executed that particular shot so well, he which like Chris was a lot of trouble. Chris had to come with a real good shot. Go Both players, six. you know. Do you want, Corey? Think he can go off a six and get up under the balls up table? 
the 8 to 13 again? What do you mean? How can you do that? And what about kicking? This guy's is subject kicking to kick two rails. Point. Right. Yeah. To I get like behind that. the 813. Yes. Oh yeah, if he can spin it enough, I don't think he can spin it enough. Take a look at the table. Right. Yes. See? That's, that's pretty tough. If he can hit further up toward that side pocket with the cue ball, or mass say it, you know, and I agree. The angle on the screen is a lot different than the actual table. He but he could mass say it. Spin it. Corey he could, could mass say it. That. He's gonna hit between the one and the side. Kick it. He is. No, he's banking the six. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. It's pretty fortunate there, I tell you. That was very fortunate. That was a flyer. Chris is just going to tap kick. Tap kick. The Reyes could two rail the one here. Or he's got to be careful he doesn't catch the four. Yeah, well, you know, I, I kind of like the shot. I if I shot like as, shot as straight as he, as he shoots, I'd shoot it. As you know, carries a big reward if he hit it well. You know, Efren does simple little things. There's reasons for what he does. I, I try to figure them out. Chris is going to try to tie up a couple of balls on race. Like of the that table. shot right there that he shot? Yeah. There was a reason for it? I yeah. don't know the reason for uh, it either. Uh, I mean, there's a reason why he does those things. Yeah, he's there's thinking there's moves ahead. There's a reason. Because he didn't have any other shot. Oh, okay. He didn't have he other two railer on the one. Yeah, well, that's what that's what I'm saying. That was the shot uh, what, that I would have shot. But what do you think of this shot? It wasn't a good shot. What do you think of shot. this shot shooting the nine and going under the balls again? I like, I like going under the balls. I like what you're saying. Going under what what balls? The eight, fifth, thirteen. Yeah, it looked like he could shoot the nine and and right. and, and send the, the five, four. You know, the three four, might bank back up five and comes stick his to way, the, or the four, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and the three might bank back that way. Yeah. Right? Well, like since Chris shot. tied up the balls on his uh, raised the side of the table, repositioning the cue ball behind those balls could over only favor Chris, not Reyes, because Reyes can't really do anything. That's true. The, so that those balls are tied up. So Reyes got to untie those balls before he starts repositioning the ball, cue ball, or any ball, you know, the cue ball behind those balls. I like that shot right there that he just shot. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah it's, it was mm -hmm. a good shot. Looks like he left him a long roller on this one, maybe. Huh? Oh, no. A what? A one railer on the one. No. No, you're right. No, I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was Efren. They were both wearing the same yeah. color shirt. Oh, I see what you're saying. He might have left okay. Efren a one railer on the one, that's for sure. Yeah, he, well, he did. He did. He did. He, he definitely left Efren a one railer on the one. He's going to shoot it, too. Had he not left Efren the one railer on the one, I would have looked for Efren to untie those balls up on his rail. But he left them a one railer on the one, and it's probably free. He hit it with good speed. He hit it short of the pocket. And uh, the reason he had short of the pocket was he didn't want to give Chris a free bank on the seven. Uh -oh. Well, scratched. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's got good speed, though. Oh, wow. He really? left, he left, her, left him straight left in. Left Ray as a shot on the six. I think straight in. Now, how about, tie, how about those balls tied up on Ray's side of the table now? Had those balls not been tied up, this shot right here, he could have played position. No, he can't. And look, at he's going to rub he, off the nine. He's going to try and roll out in the middle of the table and bank the I one. I think he's going to rub off the nine here. I think he's going to rub off the nine. I don't think he is. He did. He did, but in the meantime, okay. did, he, did he make it? Uh, that was wide. He, he rubbed off the nine, and he wasn't straight in. By right. Any means. No. Now Chris has an opportunity to steal two balls here. I like slow spinning this. Just get to the bottom rail. Boy, he doesn't spin. Well, he, maybe he wanted to make that ball. Sometimes when you slow spin, you don't make that ball. <laughs> you know? 
and he'll take his chances of, of holding You're this right, one up. Right. Well, you know. Yeah. I understand. Now he can hit this one a little sloppy. Still get it. Does the four bank? Oh, it's close. It's it's pretty close. Hmm. Oh, it had plenty of room. He, he might be a little tired. Hello. Played this. I think I had this shot against seven. I like banking this ball towards your pocket and follow the cue ball up by the seven. Just come one rail up by the seven. This is low. Oh. Oh. Well, he he got a lot done with that shot. Yeah, he unlocked the seven. Yeah, he got a lot done with that shot. He's going to have another shot when he gets back to the table. So he's going to have some type of a shot when he gets back to the table. Most likely a two railer on that nine ball or a possible two railer on the blue two. Or a one railer on the pink, on the, on the, uh, on the five. Looks like he has a two railer on either the nine or the two. Draw the cue ball. I like shooting the four and coming over under those balls. You know, just try and take the cue ball one rail over under those, under the 15. I don't like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what he does. I think he's two rail on the three. No, he's shooting him uh, with Corey's shot. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good call, Corey. He's shooting Corey's shot, and he shot it well. Now, if I was Chris, I think I like hitting this 13, getting the 8 in play, and stick him on the 15, maybe. I don't know. Or what about hitting the 15 into the 12? Yeah. And sticking the cue ball on I the like 13. I like that, yeah. Off the seven. Right. Off the seven, it might go. Twelve or seven. Whichever one's laying yeah. right off the seven. He's kicking behind the four. Hard. I don't like that shot. shot. No, okay, you, you, this is a pretty tough shot to play shape for the uh, 713 on, but I, I think you have to go for it here because the uh, the four ball is pretty close to that corner pocket, and there's a good chance that uh, you could pocket the ball even though you hit it with a, a lot of speed. Let's I, I, I'm going I'm going for the position play here. Wow, he hit that good. He, he did need a little more legs. Well, he's got he a, hit that uh, good. He's got a two rather on the three. He could put him in jail. Yeah, he certainly should take a look at that shot. That shot really deserves a, a look. That jail might not be jail though. That, what we were looking at over there, you know, there's some there's some offensive shots I for wanted Chris to, over there. I wanted to interrupt real quick. Um, Viffer or Dippy Dave just sent me a text saying that he would play you, me, and Billy if we all play scotch. Oh really? For a hundred Even? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna shoot your shot in the meantime. Yeah, this is a good shot. Uh, He's hit it long. And he's playing shape. He wasn't playing to get she behind those balls. Shape. He played shape. I like that better, yeah. Yeah, and I agree. Chris is looking at some sort of a bank off uh, off the eight, see if he has the angle to bank the eight and uh, play some what sort of shape on the three. Th Banking the eight and coming behind the 13 15? No, no, he's not doing that. Now he's going to try to, I thought he was going to try to retie those balls up. Does he have a three rail around the 15 here? That's the 12. I like Ephraim 12? kicking at the 15. If you kick and hit the 15 and freeze on the 13, you got him in a really good spot. He may spot. have a three rail around that 12 right or, he might have a two or that 15. Or three. He may have a three rail around that 15. That's a big shot. Yeah. That's a big shot. I just think the jail was better if you kick and hit the 15. I think freeze. he hit that poorly. I thought yeah, he had he a free railer on that ball. In the meantime, the balls are starting to uh, take it, take their, their, their position on Reyes' side of the table. I Chris can actually, I don't know, I'm really aggressive. But I mean, you you going to shoot the seven there? You, you can move the 15 to your side. He's got to be careful he doesn't scratch oh, off of geez. it. I like that shot. I don't, whatever. 
Well, I, I think you would have cut the Fit 7. I might have soft cut it. Right, well, if I would have cut it, I'd just right. cut it soft, overcut it a little bit. I like, lag tough. I like lagging on the 2-9 here, soft speed, just laying the cue ball on top of the 9-2. This shot, this shot demands too much of an accurate hit from the distance right. he was away from it. Mm -hmm. Very tough shot. I just like lagging on the 2-9. Taking my chances to get get there and create a problem for for Gentile to, to come with a good safety. Gotcha. I'm surprised he didn't bank that into the 15. Were you oh, right there? Yeah. Yeah. Now he can't lag onto the two nine because he gives him a free bank on the uh, on the 15. He can't do that anymore. But yeah. he can bank the, the red three back. He's gonna get some more balls. He's getting uh, creative. Yeah, now I don't That's believe he can, if he can see if he can see the nine. I kind of like banking the he nine can't here. See it. He can't see it. But Q -ball He's got to hit it right. really easy. Now Q ball will come back down to where he is now. Oh, came short. Yeah. Can we get a shot? Does the two go by the fifteen? Uh, can we get a shot if that two goes by the 15? No, it doesn't go by. He wouldn't have shot well, that shot. I'd still shot. like to see it, Billy. It does go by. It's got a whole And then if it does go by, I don't know why he shot the bank. Well, do you see it? Why would he shoot the bank? I was, I was giving him too much credit. Because if, if, the, if the two goes by, why did he shoot the bank? That's what I said. He was going to turn the cue ball loose. Yeah. It's going to cost him this game. I can't believe he shot that ball like that. I'm surprised Efren shot that ball so hard. I, I'm, that ball, I might have just rolled that pocket. up there. Had a whole pocket. Yeah, but. You shoot balls soft real well. I feel more comfortable hitting balls firm. Yeah, like for me, that would, I would have been more comfortable rolling that ball in. It's all what you're comfortable with. So Efren needs, uh, he needs two, two more balls. after this one. No, he needs. No, he needs two now. He needs two now. Oh, he needs two now. No, okay. he needs, yes, he needs. So he's two. looking to maybe go into the eight or up under the eight. Maybe is that what he's looking at? Maybe two around the three, whatever. Yeah, up under the eight. The twelve must go if we put the cue ball there. I don't think that it does. We can get a shot at that. I don't think straight it does. We thing. can see from right here it doesn't go. He it doesn't pretty go. Pretty close. He might be able to zigzag bank to 13 also twice. Zigzag to 13. Twice bank he it can't twice. Miss the 12. Yeah right. <laughs> zigzag to 13. I mean if the 12 didn't go. Zigzag two, is what you roll your stuff with. He can zigzag. two rail. He zigzag papers. You ever heard that? You I've roll never your heard stuff of any. I've never heard of anything like that. <laughs> he can two rail the three. Uh-oh. Well, he froze it. He got lucky. <clears throat> he can five rail the three. Or he could hit the <laughs> hit the eight, two rail the seven into the 13, 12. This guy did. <laughs> you see that shot? You missed the shot. Look, see 13, 12 is dead in his pocket? He could have could have two railed the seven into it. That was a joke. Yeah, but he's not joking. <laughs> no, not yeah, joking. that was sweet. I went. <laughs> so this is the wedge you're talking about. Yeah, you're yeah, talking basically. About right so yeah, said, this is like a, a mini wedge. Mini wedge. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have that pocket with that mini wedge because I have more okay, well, uh, ability Efren's, to back. Efren's got him wedged on his side for some reason. Yeah, well, I like Chris's pocket. So I'll bet you the next ball made will be made of Chris's pocket. Mm. Well, Chris is going to be more aggressive in the game. He well, needs, he I needs. don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about yeah, that. But come on. Billy. Now, no, hey. now, Scott, why why do you why do you like the balls in that pocket if this is your if your because pocket is effort? Because that's what I was saying. If, okay. if like a ball, I wish I had a telestrator. You understand? It's if a ball leaks out down here. Let's say there's a few here. You can three rail that ball. Three rail, three rail, three rail, rail the ball. Yeah, three. exactly. You okay. can't three rail it because it gets cut balls there. Well, I play Corey. Okay, that I, I'm pay off. Well, hey, pay made, off. Yeah. Pay off. You're glad Millions. I didn't pay off. That. <laughs> yeah. that was a real nice move. Pay off. <laughs> nice move you tried to make on me there. 
Nice move. That's a good one. See, uh, <laughs> there I think he passed up a creative shot. He could have banked that ball off it, half the uh, eight. Into the eight, you mean? And, yeah. and carrying him off the eight? He could have banked it off the eight towards his pocket. And the eight goes over to his side as well. Yeah. Right. I saw that shot. But I just thought it was just a vulnerable shot and uh, something that only a, uh, one of those suicide suicidal guys would shoot. I wish I could have heard the commentary on my match. You gotta I, be a, I gotta comma, buy that. A kamikaze to shoot that shot. Is there some kamikaze shots yeah, I might have yeah, shot? Yeah, kamikaze. <laughs> The funny thing is, you guys call me Kazumikazi. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm trying I'm to knit sorry. up as much as I can. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah, I know. I'm really knit up. I'm really knit I know. Up. You guys and call you're me still Kazumikazi. the most aggressive player on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's a true yeah. statement. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. So, here's the wedge. This What's is going one on? on? <laughs> See, it makes the ball. You know, I'm going to start playing different. Maybe yeah, commentary will come up with ball. Commentary so. serves a dual purpose. Yeah, play the other way. I'm going to play the wedge over on the other side now. Maybe my game will come up. I've been playing it on the wrong <laughs> side all these years. <laughs> I think you're doing all right. Whatever you're doing, you're probably okay with whatever you're doing. You know, don't listen to him because he don't want you to improve. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> talking to you. Me. I said, don't listen to Corey because he doesn't want you to improve. Oh, continue I'm, playing I'm, the no, continue no. playing the wedge on the wrong side. I'm going to go on the right side. I'm going to the wedge on the right side. <laughs> yeah, this that, that might mess your whole game up. That might, you no. might start playing backwards. No. Now, all we're doing is confusing everyone out there. So that's good. Oh, we got everybody confused. Look at this hit. Look at this hit right here. Huh? Huh? Nice shot. Nice huh? shot. Huh? Good shot. Oh, I thought he was hooked. I was kind of pulling for a hook there so that we could get a little bit of a closer game. This is the old force follow, stun, kill. Force follow, stun, kill. Well, if you want a closer game, ask Corey how to get a closer game from this position when you have the lead. Now, can he one rail this without <laughs> getting a kiss? Or no. He had Reyes needed four, four balls and he needed one. And Reyes won the game. So, so, <laughs> how, so Reyes is no slouch, though, you know? Don't worry, I've done it a thousand times. I, I, I think I did I, I'm just kidding you. I did okay. it twice today. I did that once in my life. I did it twice today. <laughs> once. I'll tell him. <laughs> you did it twice already today yeah. alone, Scott? Yes, I have. I had a three ball lead against Al or I needed one. Alex needed three, and I lost. This ball's got a good chance to get pretty close to the hole. It looks like a kiss. I think he can beat it. Yeah, he beat it yeah. and he made the ball. He made the ball. Making a slight comeback. I'll tell you what, uh, Efren's end game with the balls up table, I think he's got a little room for improvement, even though he is the best player in the world. Do you, look for to get, to, do you look for Efren to kick bank this ball? Uh, possibly, and, and he could pocket the seven also. That would, that would, uh, you don't want to do that when you need one. Well, he stuck it. You want to do that. See, you see I, don't, I don't quite agree with some of the stuff that Efren well, he is doesn't. doing. A little, like he's leaving a lot of banks. and. Yeah, that particular uh, kick bank leaves a return shot more often than not. And if you don't pocket it nearly as often as you should pocket it in order to shoot that shot. So yeah. it's certainly not a fair trade-off. I, I, if I kick bank it, well, I would have just rolled it and made the seven with the cue ball, get two balls down there. But, but why would he want to do that? Because he only needs, that? One he needs one ball. One, That's how you I lose know. to Dippy. That's how you lose to Dippy. Watch this kiss shot here. Whoops. Not quite. He left a cross break. Mm, I don't know. I'm crossing it going into the 13, that's for sure. If you cross it, why don't you go into the 7? What? Go into the 7. Because Efren's pocket's by the 8. He's going to oh, go I into figure, the 13, right? I figure going into the 7, it will, you, would, you would make no, the cross I'm, bank more often. I'm not trying to make it. I'm getting two balls in play. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, I actually like going into the 7 better just because... 
if you go into the 13 and you miss it like uh, low, you might leave a cross bank. It's easier to bank the ball from over there. Well, you're not going to leave a cross bank. You're not going to leave a cross bank from there, Corey. You're trying to hit this. But I do believe that Efren has gotten pretty lucky not to have left another well, I'm bank roll for, uh, 13 for Gentile. Here. Well, Chris just has a lot more patience than you, Scott. <laughs> okay. If you notice, that shot is quite different than your than your choice. Yeah. You know, and I do understand you need all three, and Chris needs all three. That is, and why doesn't he try to force the issue somewhat by keeping balls in play? There you go. You can kick behind up. it. Eight's dead off thirteen in your pocket. Oh, well, you know, you have a point there, but it's going to get that, it's going to get that like that double kiss because of the frozen ball on the 13, and it's liable to get that double kiss just enough to throw that eight into the pocket. You people out there understood that shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Come on, Corey. I'm allowed to say crazy shots if I see them. Not really. Right? We're here doing a job. See, Reyes yeah, is right. looking, looking he like... He does have a bank here. Reyes is looking like he's trying to give Chris a shot. Looks like it to me. Maybe he's you know? trying to beat the line. <sighs> now, this shot here, you elevate with right in English and shoot away from the, the eight this way. There you go. You know, you elevate with right in English. And this is in the pocket, by the way, just so you know. Well, that okay. was all the shot. There you go. There you go. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, Gentile is back in the game. Seven so you behind the point here? here. You might I be corner 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 here. No effort. That was lazy effort. The corner hook in there. Then he's forced to touch the seven. Mm. Yeah, the, but the seven's position on the end rail, on the side rail. So therefore, you know, he's, he wasn't going to pocket it. Well, he's no, just got to roll corner, over on the seven, right? What Corey and I were saying is if you corner hook him there, then he has to. Is he, is he going for this? Wow. Mm. He's pretty aggressive. That was really aggressive. I don't know if I shoot that shot. We've played like once. This, uh, he could go for this, but this really uh, demands a very accurate hit. I have jacked him up. And he almost, tried to. Almost. He tried to jack him up. Good players do that occasionally. Is that right, guys? Occasionally. That's a pretty good hit. Whoa. Oh my! You almost had the oh kiss. my! Cue ball almost frozen. Thirteen ball position in front of your pocket. Well, you just thin it over, right? You just no, you can't thin it over. It's too close to the pocket. You got to kick it. Really? I think so. Oh. Okay. Well, if it, that shot was available, then you do that. I don't like that shot. What do you do here? One, one rail it. Yeah. Just and one if it was, it if it would have froze, speed. you three rail it. You're one either going to have one something. With three rail speed. it leaves you a possibility of a return shot. One rail with pocket speed. It turns in there. No wonder it does I lost. turn in there. Turns in. I played Alex there. It turned in. Mm -hmm. Now you may have to kick it. Oh man, what's it doing here? Kick behind this ball. Uh oh. This is. Slow down. It's, uh, it's going to listen speed. to you. It's going to listen to you. It's good speed. You like two railing this with inside? Tons inside? And that's kiss, huh? No, there's no, no kiss that's here. Not a kiss. I think that's this not might a bad be a shot. There's no kiss no, here. No kiss. Not even close. No, it's not even close. Oh, wow. What a it's, shot. It's a pretty close shot, though. Oof. Good shot there. Yeah, kiss, kiss wasn't close. Ray is making some pretty good shots to. Uh, Continually reposition that ball in front, near, in front of his pocket or near his pocket, and Chris is making some pretty good shots. Other oh, than that one, other than that one. Billy, last time I commentated, what did I say? Every time you try and get a ball on the table, it seems to go in the side pocket. Well, I look for Reyes to win the game with this shot. It's a, it's yeah, a pretty good is, prediction. Uh, yeah, I think it, it's a free shot because he has the luxury of hitting it, hitting it with good pocket speed, shooting the shot with a follow. He doesn't have to draw it. He's just hitting it with a nice follow. Is this follow. the first game? This is the first yep, game. Yeah, first game. 
Good pocket speed. This Good game's ball. over. This game is over. It's in. Nope, it's turning in. Wow, it turned in a little. Yep. Well, that's, that's usually how the games go, huh? Efren gets an early lead, and then he starts starts letting it slip away at the end game. Yeah, that, that seems to be the way that mostly all the games go when you're talking about two upper echelon players because with the uh, player with the lead usually gets a little more conservative and the player behind usually gets a little more, you know, aggressive and, uh, and it usually goes that way and uh, usually ends up the way this one did where the player that has the lead usually does win most of the time. Most. Most of the time. Except for when you're up four <laughs> balls and Hill Hill and... He didn't get the cue ball. He got two balls in your hole. Okay, okay, okay. He didn't get the cue ball all the way up. So I know what Chris is going to do. He's just going to roll the ball in. See here, I like kicking it to 15. There's no question I know you would kick it to 15. Just make sure you hit it. He may end up derailing the 15 and going to the stack with the cue ball. Nope. That's what he was trying. He didn't quite hit it. No, I was talking about two railing the 15. Oh, two railing. And then going into the stack I with the cue ball. I thought you said derailing. Oh. Well, if he hits this five and spins over, he's most likely going to leave a bank on the nine. Correct. I don't think he can spin over that, uh, that, that he's much. He's just got to lay it on the end rail? I think, yeah, I think it's what he's going to do. Okay. Not much there. It looks like he's going to have to kick here. Or else just play a very timid say, shot or just yeah, roll the cue ball. 13 and put him up table. He could almost kick at the uh, 5 and run into the 10 a little bit. Take a scratch, maybe bump the 11 down. He's just going to do something real conservative here. Yeah, Chris got to make sure that he doesn't leave him. What about shooting off the 9 and freezing on the 1-4? One or 114, I mean. I don't, I, I don't think I would do that. That's risky. The eight goes. I don't think I would do that. The eight passes. You hit it a hair too hard. Because, uh, you know, there's too much risk there. The reward's hardly nothing. You know, he left him a bank right back on the 15, something that he really should, couldn't afford to do. I don't know why he's not shooting it. Can he bank the nine and come around? The, the three ball goes. That's why he's not shooting this shot. Can he bank the nine and come around three rails? He can't even see the nine. I don't think, I think he can. Well, maybe he can. I can't tell if he can see the nine. It looks like he's shooting at it. Well, that 15's in the oh, path yeah, of the three can. rails. No. It is. I like this. Not if he hits it hard enough. He didn't hit it hard enough. Well, it was a good thought. That was a nice shot. I like that shot. Yeah. He got unfortunate there. I think he left the same shot on the 14, but doesn't pass. Yeah, it he's got unfortunate. He's, just, uh, he's got a cross on the nine. Can you do something? Well, the three doesn't even go anymore. I think the three goes. You know, he's he, gotta, he should take a look at that five ball. It looks like they got five ball is laying pretty good for uh, pretty good no, for it's Chris. A, it's off. I see. If he can hit any piece of this three, I like banking the three into Doesn't the nine. Look bad. I don't know about that. That five ball looks Doesn't pretty look close too to bad, me. But it's going to the right side. I kind of like banking the nine here yeah, going I into like the five. The yeah, I like that too. Shooting this uh, 
This is a two railer. I shoot this two rails if I'm gonna shoot the 15. Two rails? Yeah, two rails. What do you mean two rails? One, two, wow, and then that one. Wow, what a shot. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, but he was able to bring it back. Now he's got, uh, he's got an angle to do some damage here. The angle on the table is not as steep as the angle that we see on the monitor. The one that we see on the monitor looks he's like he's got he can, room though. Like he can go into the ten and he open can. up the ball. He can. Well, that was a great shot. It's kind of tough to get another ball here though. If you rail first the ten, I don't know if he can. If he can see the ten, he can't see the ten. If he rails first the ten, he, he might go into the eight. It. You're right. He's going to play the combination. Combination. Yeah. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to play shape for the eight. Come all the way out for the 13. No, he's going to play for the eight, like Billy said. I can play the four now, come out to the eight if he wants. Either way, I like playing the four, then coming out to the eight. You do? Yeah, then you got an angle to come out for the 13. If he, if he plays more. If he comes really? from the four to the eight, he might be able to bump like the two. I like shooting the four first here. He's trying to bump it. Bump. No, he's not trying to bump it. Kind of like, kind of. <laughs> I, like, I like going inside to get on the 13 and then bump the two off the 13. Now you rub the top of the two. Now? Yeah. Does he have the angle? Yeah. Yeah, of course yeah, he, he has the angle. I mean, does he have room by to pass the one? Yes, he does. he does. Yes, he does. I see it. I said yes. And that's going to make it a game right there. How many does he need now? Two? He needs, needs one. He needs one more. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, he looks like he's making short work of uh, of Gentile after two games. It's two nothing Reyes, and uh, in game number two, Gentile wasn't even a threat. Game number one, it lasted quite a while, not like game number two. One mistake and it was all over. Okay, he can't afford to fall any further behind than he already is, so he's going to definitely have to win this game. There's not really any coming back after losing the first three games in a race right five that. against Reyes. You're right about that. Looks like he comes off the eight and frees on the nine, huh? Or can he see the nine? The can you see the nine? We all have such different styles. I just uh, Can he go around the table with the eight? Can he bank the eight into the stack that's, and go around the I table? Or is it just, or is it too I like long? That, I like that shot. It's too it's long? To long? Is it too long? I like, three real? I like the shot. It could be too long. Is it too long? No. No, it's it all right. Good. It's okay. It's okay. Great shot there. Wow. There you go. Once again, Chris is in trouble. He's going to have to kick, kick uh, one cushion toward the three, toward two cushions. I like kicking toward the three here. Might be I'll go off the ten, with some spin. No, 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 he can't do that, Corey. No. No. I think he's looking at drawing it off the ten. He's gonna have to kick. He can't see the ten. And kicking right here, he don't, don't he can have see much the margin for error. He can't see the ten. No. No. He doesn't have much margin for error kicking either. No, he does with that 13 there. 13 looks like it's in the way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he, he has to kick to the inside of the 13, and, and if he does well, that. Well, what about two? Uh, you just tough two rail kick, huh? Past the one? Short of the one? 
Yeah, he, he can see the 10. He can see the 10. I think if he jacks up a little on the 10 and draws it, I, I don't think the line from the 10 ball to the corner, I don't think he can scratch. That's the thing. So if, as long as he just sends it low of the three, he should be fine. Yeah, right, unless he hits the pink four. <laughs> well, well that'd, you, be you a whole, see, that'd be a whole Well, six you can see off. over here, if you look at the table, not the monitor, okay? Uh, see? He yeah. can draw into the he four. He can't see the 10, or he would have done shot it. He's not going to do this before he can go by the, off the 10. Uh-oh. This is really bad. Oh, he might have got lucky. Nope. Kind of a worse. Oh, he did get lucky. Because, yeah, absolutely. Because now Reyes has to play the combination, and the only ball we can play position for is nothing. Well, uh, the 13 is going to go into the pink four, and, uh, and he's going to have a pretty, you know, he could play position for a possible bank on the eight. And he can, the, the pink, the, the 13 is going to go, the pink four may the open 12. up. But yeah, you're right. I think the Reyes is, will be better served if he shoots the combination and, and, and keeps the cue ball somewhere around He's that bottom He's going to shoot combination with inside English. I don't, I don't believe he should do that. I don't think he should try to play shape that way. I think he should just, he should just stay He's right gonna there. He's going to come around two rails for sure. Watch the 13 knock away the pink One, four. One, two. I don't like that he shot. Didn't get there. I don't like that shot. Well, the, the ball didn't take away the four. Can he bank the 12 off the six, maybe? Can't see it. And that's what he's Banking doing. 12 into the stack. And he's going to stun this ball, like so. Uh, he tried to, but... Couldn't hold it enough to get it. Looks like Chris might be able to do something with this 10 ball here. Chris is very fortunate to even come back to the table after the shot he attempted. Oh boy. Wow, that almost skid and scratched. Yes, it did. Well, he's, he's in a good spot here. I like that shot a lot. This is tough to get out of here. This is tough to get out of. Can he thin the four and get over there? Looks like maybe. Watch this shot here. What Look what he's see? trying to what do. He trying he's to coming do? off the four and he's following the ball. He's coming off the four. Uh -huh. He's following the ball here. And over to the side rail. I, see I would just thin the four. That's a good shot. Just That's really easy. No, he's not doing that now. No, he's... he's I went off the 12. That was a good shot. He left him 10. The 10. I don't know about that. He yeah, left him the 6 or the 10. No, the 6 is a better shot than the 10. The 6 is a better shot than the 10. Yeah. I think so. The 10 yeah. really can't make any, any ball. Out. I think with the 6, he can run it into the 5. Put him by the 4. So he can run into the 5 with the 6, and he can create some damage that way and not run the risk of selling out anything. got to be careful here. What do you think of this coming off the top of the four and sending the cue ball into the into the eight nine and, and just kind of wedging the cue ball onto the bottom there? What? What? Take the cue ball off the four the underneath the eight. Enough. Coming underneath what? The eight and nine. In between the eight and nine. In between. What do you mean in between? He's talking you about coming here? underneath here. Yeah, here? underneath. underneath. That's impossible. I'm just saying if you don't have it doesn't seem nine. like he has much. Or you can shoot the 10 into the 611 and rip them all out. So I bet if he shoots the 5 into the 14, goes up table by the 1. What about if he just does that? There's a lot of balls near Chris's pockets. Yeah, but I'd like they, to get they out don't of go. Out of there they don't go. Chris can get to that 8 somehow. You know, Reyes isn't going to allow him to do that. I kind of like playing the 5 off the 14. Boom, and send him up by the one. I like he, that shot that you said. Why don't you, can he cross bank the 15 right here? 
That's a good shot with a lot of inside English going to the seven. Some, I don't think he's going to do speed. that. He's going to cross back and release the Haley soft. That's what he did. That's not a good shot. He missed the seven. He needed a lot rail. of inside. With maximum inside, you're, you're never going to miss the seven. He's on the rail, guys. Right? No, you'll never miss the seven. I'm shooting up all the maximum But he was inside. on the rail, guys. He's, it's hard to apply the English when you're on the rail like that. Well, we got fortune to be able to sell the farm. Uh, Ray's may not even shoot the Jacked shot. Up no, over he's ball. Yeah. If he can kick underneath the nine, he'll do that. I don't, but I don't think he has the avenue to do that. No, he's not going to shoot this ball. No way is he going to shoot that ball. That would be... Uh, I like kicking up two rails under the nine and taking a scratch. Maybe. Oh, yeah. He's good here. That's what he did. He wanted to move them a little. He wanted to try and move them a little to maybe so they're not dead, right? I think uh, Chris is petrified of this guy, but he's supposed to shoot the bank one. The one. Absolutely. Bank the one. Absolutely. He's not supposed to bank the one here. No way. If he's going to do anything, he's going to roll on the one. He's not going to bank the one here. What if he kicks and wedges the cue ball behind the seven? Could he do that? Is that any decent shot? You know, kick and wedge right between the seven and the rail. It's a tough shot, but as long as you freeze on it. You're right. <laughs> you win. <laughs> right? You play an effort with him. I, I, I like your, th wait, I like your thinking. <laughs> well, but, but, but only if you were playing partners and you were on the other team. <laughs> uh, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to roll on the one here. You know, roll on the one. You're going to roll on the one? Yeah. Then he can shoot. Yeah, but if you're going to bank the one, <laughs> you're going to, uh, you think you can make that bank? He's kicking. He's playing Corey's shot. I like this. He's shot. playing Corey's shot, okay, fellas. I wouldn't but, do it hard. But he's playing your shot that way. I wouldn't hit it hard. I would have tried to wedge between them. Did he I think hear he could have did that. Huh? Did he hear Corey? Yeah, but if he got to hear him when he said play it soft. Am I double steering him from the, <laughs> and from the commentary booth? And boost? freeze him to the seven. <laughs> <laughs> and freeze him. <laughs> freeze him to the seven. I'm double steering him from over here. I, mean, I don't know how anybody could pick that shot out of a lineup. But it, it was a good he shot. He had to have heard it. It wasn't a bad shot. It was shot, a good shot. But, uh, but uh, I mean, I don't you know. Ray is just going to come off the five and drop underneath the nine Absolutely. here. And, but softly, because he, then he'll uh, Ooh, he he make the that. 11. Well, he really, he he really did right. his job there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know? Well, he nicked the 11 when he scratched, but he knew you couldn't scratch, obviously. What is he doing Hit the 12 and roll up and jack him up over the 2. Oh. Okay. He wants to freeze up and jack him up over the 2. Uh, Efren's slowly just going to... Worm these balls over. Uh, oh, he's gonna. What if Efren kicks at the nine, pretty firm? Does the eight go off the four? Corey. I mean, I, I'm gonna you say know all the all the crazy. I, I've noticed. Shots. I've noticed that you have a a strong uh, a strong opinion about how well you kick. Oh, I know. I'm so far, that's... you've kicked about as well as a mule. <laughs> I'm talking about really. In my mind. I mean, really. I mean, you, your kicking skills are way above everyone else's. Oh, okay. Not only, not only at the table, but up here as well. Okay. Well, what can what can happen bad? Really? If you hit the, what bad happens if you hit the bottom half of the nine right here, kicking at it? Kick the eight into the four. Well, it looks like he's got a possible. There's operation. a lot of bad things that really. I'm could saying you're not. You you're gonna hit it full. You're gonna hit it full. I mean, well, you'd you have to be an awful full. player not to hit that nine full. So it's not, the eight I, goes I over there. I actually don't think it's that bad of a shot, but if you hit the top side of it, you can double yeah, kiss you hit the nine top and get straight side in. If you dead. hit below it, you can sell the 15 out. I, mean, it's I don't think you'll ever sell the 15 out. Well, the combination of 6 11. Uh, you, uh, kicking Maybe. it soft. What's know. wrong with kicking it soft? If you kicking hit this it side soft, of it, yeah. you're going to go to the rail, and the nine's going to hit the eight. I have move no idea what he's doing here. He's going to two rail of 13. Wow, look at this. Oh, wow. He straight in on the one. He sold out. He oh, made he it. made it. <laughs> he always knows when to make the ball. Did you notice that? <laughs> have you noticed he that? He might have put himself in jail here. Why? Well, he can cut the five now. 
Ouch, yeah. Yeah. What are you, what's he going to lose? I think the 11 goes off 15, maybe. Doesn't it? Or the, no. what about the 6 15 9 combo? That goes for sure. The what? 6 15 9. Corey, look at the table. <laughs> that don't go? What are you talking about? Well, maybe it's a little low. It's not even close. Yeah, I don't know. You ever notice how an offensive look at player. That. How's hey, a 6 15 hey, 9? Hey, have you ever noticed how an I aggressive. Can't see it. How an aggressive player really thinks. This goes off this ball. This goes off this ball. <laughs> if I kick over here, I can make this ball. You know, that's what goes through my head. But <laughs> I, I never shoot him. He's trying to hustle. He said, that's what really goes through my head, really? I didn't know you thought like that. That's what goes through my head. So anybody. <laughs> I, I didn't know you you thought like that. <laughs> that's why everybody likes to play me, I guess. I don't know. Oh, hit the ball. Well, how hard is he going to hit this 11 ball? I like force following it and hitting it with speed. Okay, the problem with hitting this shot hard is this. If you hit the, the 11 ball too hard and it happens to split hit the 6 and the 14, the 14 hits the 15 it and moves, moves the 9 in front of the pocket. Right. Okay. So you just like kicking soft at the 9 again? I do. I, li I would like to move some balls on my side. But you can see that if you hit that six ball and hit, then hit the ten ball. I like kicking. I like the fourteen kicking ball. Nine, pretty, you know, give it a little speed, a little see, bit, not a lot. I like soft kicking at the nine here. Even though I would love to use that seven ball to hit, hit some ball, he, I like soft his, kicking. Uh, yeah, yeah, he put a little speed on it. Well, maybe not too much. Well, plays you know, real good a little, a little yeah. bit. Can is this does this eleven bank any sort of way? <laughs> I know, Scott, you can bank this ball, can't you? Put a little spin on Corey, they're, we're, we're commentating realistic shots here. There's people at home that are trying to figure out Hey, what out are these guys do. saying, Nathan? What are these guys in the chat room saying about all this? Really? I mean, are, are, they, are they saying that Corey's from another planet? <laughs> really? What planet? Mars? Why can't, why can't uh, you shoot uh, that? Planet you Jupiter? Know? Where? You can bank that straight up and back. The 11? Oh, oh. Come on, man. I'll give you a... I'll give you what a about kicking it the one they, ball? They're not saying anything? Chris didn't get a rail here. No rail. He didn't get a rail. <laughs> He's crazy. I thought uh, I thought the commentate. I saw that. I thought the commentation was a lot more logical and understandable when I was here with Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> probably <What>? was. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it probably was. That's pretty good. Are they, a, real are logical, they, are but, they asking for Schwartz? Is but how many Larry, shots you guys Larry. picked correctly? <laughs> Why are you shark after Look at this shot. Oh, he yeah, played the so four rail. He played 16 the rail shot. Did he play that? <laughs> play uh, that let's shot? get a look at the, let's get an overhead here. I'm I have a shot. Look at you right now. I That's have a good. shot here. Where are you at? I like, I like two railing the cue ball, sending it back at the three. You need to get the cue ball behind yeah, the three here, even if even if yeah. you end up fouling here, I would. Uh, it's worth the foul. I like. I like that. I like. I think that's two the to three shot. rails or behind three the three. Rail. You can three rail below. Yeah, the two, five, two, two to three, three rail. Sure. Uh, it looks like a little long that way, but that's what I would do. I would get behind the three in some is. way. One. No, I would get behind the three. <laughs> One. No. <laughs> well, you know, uh, guys, you guys come on. Guys, come on. <laughs> come on. Don't you like my shot? I did like your shot, actually. Yeah, if he gets down there, shot. if he gets below the three, he's in trouble. Real trouble. Did you like my shot? Huh? I'm telling you, I like, I like from I here, like, I like shooting yeah. hard at this 11 ball and stop the cue ball. Hard as I can. Wham. Do what? I shoot, I'm going to shoot this 11 pretty hard. Just stop well, right now, you can afford to do that. So you can afford to do that then. No, I don't like that now shot. for sure, I would definitely go. Absolutely. I would Two definitely rows. go three cushions behind the three. Two, three rows, it's so right. strong right now. It's 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 stronger than lie. Stronger than but but stronger than stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. <laughs> stronger than dirt. <laughs> I, I've never understood that line. I've heard it a lot. What is he doing? Come on, Chris. You you gotta have a little more creativity than this. You need to talk to Corey Duell for a little while after this match. Yeah, I'll tell him about 50 shots. But, I mean, really, shot. though, that was really ineffective. 
Can Efren shoot the 10 and get the 7 going towards his hole? No, he's and him off the it's, oh, this is what they call a double kiss shot but that's, here. I mean, See? but Ball. he could have hit the 10 and did the same thing, and the 7 goes right at his hole. He's got a dead ball. I mean, I'm looking at it right here. Could have hung a ball. I'm telling you, he passed up a shot there. He could have did the exact same thing with the cue ball, but hit the 10. At some point, you're going to have to say to yourself, where would I, where wouldn't I want to be? Okay? Where wouldn't I want to be if I was myself? Yeah. Behind the three. That's right. <laughs> but you can't get there from where he's at right but now. But what I'm Not saying now. is, what I'm saying oh, is. Oh, before, yeah. I'm yeah. saying different shot. I was saying you know different I mean? shot. Where Effort. wouldn't I want to be if I was, you know, myself? And I would, and I would try to put put put, put the cue ball there. Mm -hmm. That was a good shot. Well, I mean, Efren's already out of the trap now. He's slowly working on every single one of these balls over to his corner. I mean, it's you know, Chris had him in a bad spot for a while. He could, he should have kicked behind that three. Effort's looking for another one of those straight back draw shots to yeah, right. run a game with. Sure you know. is. Can he two rail the 11 into something? No? He's just going to float. Oh, I see. He's going to float to the bottom rail. Oh, he, shot. he missed hit it. He uh, didn't want to do that. He's helping Chris. He wants to make it a match. I don't think he wanted to do that. No, now Chris has got a shot here to get froze on this he 14. When he, did he can that. get froze on this 14 off the 10. He's going to spot that bubble. Chris owes two balls, now he only owes one. Can he see the 10 to, to come under the 14? Or no? a sportsman. No, he can't see that side of the 10. No, he can't. Maybe if I had to mass a little, I'd try and do that. He's trying to tie something up here. There you go. There you go. They made a good shot. Good shot. He made a soft kick to the 15 here. If he can thin the 15 like by the 8 shot. and then play kind of like a time shot behind the 15. Soft kick to the 15. He's trying to thin the Just 11. Thin oh, he's thinning the 10. That's good. That's good. That's, yeah, I didn't even yeah. see that shot. That's a good shot. No. He finally has a shot where he can get behind these balls. He can get behind the balls off the 11. He can draw, shoot the 11, in, shoot the 11 into the blue two, or down that way and get behind these balls. Can he can he go ahead and swing bank at this 11 and take the cue ball back across twice? No, but he, this is this is this is a good shot. He's got to get behind these balls. He's a, he wasn't able to do that. I mean, it looked like from from where I was sitting, he could have swung maybe back. Took a at shot him. at that ball. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Chris. It's not Corey. Chris, it's Corey. Uh-oh. He actually wanted to miss the 15 and hit the 8, but he... Okay, now this shot here, you hit with speed. You really got to... You, you got to hit this hard. <laughs> really? You do. You, you got to hit this shot hard. Table, right? Hard. You got to give yourself a chance to do something here. Absolutely. You got to hit this shot hard, really hard. Say it louder so he can hear you. I mean hard. There you go. <laughs> so he can hear you. That's it. Oh, that's right. And they all come over to the other I, side. I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going up table. I'm staying down table with that shot. Uh, yeah, stop the cue ball. This is frustrating. Really? Are you all right? Really? I'm not going up table with that shot. Yeah. I understand. Why are you cheating? Mm. Brutal. I'm staying down table with that shot. You just yeah, I would have stopped ball, the right? cue ball right there. Yeah, then. I'm staying right. down table with that right. shot. I'm not going yeah. up table with that shot. You're the yeah. one that wanted to go up table with the shot. I didn't you see the angle. You, dragged, you dogged it off. He heard me? He heard me and he didn't hear you. But he, but he should have stayed down the table with the shot. <laughs> uh, 
No, well, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna get the heat. You're gonna get the heat for something that that, that you made a bad shot with. <laughs> you told him to smash the bombs. I don't really like aimlessly smashing at the ball. I like kind of looking and see if I can maybe make like a three ball combination to get something going over my, towards my pocket, you know? I don't know. Well, it's three nothing, my friend. Uh, at least Chris is an understandable guy. When I tell him that he should have stayed down table, he'll, he'll forgive me. Should have stayed down table? Yeah. Yes. To the lower end where the balls are at. Yes. Of course. That's what I said. playing pretty solid and uh, Chris made a couple unforced errors 